You're welcome. My name is Mr. Clefus. And today I want to take you through a very nice concept, very wonderful concept called money laundering. Money laundering. So what is this money laundering? And uh, before I just explain this money laundering, please those who are doing advanced auditing and assurance is their specialization. And those who are doing any course in auditing uh, and assurance, whether masters, whether you are bachelor's degrees, whether you're doing it at diploma level, or you're doing any professional course, SCCA, you are doing again, maybe uh, C CIFA, please ensure you follow this concept. It's a very, very good concept. Uh, and it is going to help you even in your life to know some of these cases of money laundering. So, money laundering is a common concept. For those who are doing CPA, please, it's a very common concept in advanced auditing and assurance, uh, commonly examined. And today I'm going to cover everything which can be examined in this concept within the very shortest time. Welcome. So, money laundering is the process of obtaining monies from illegal activities and making the initial sources and it traceable. So that is what is called money laundering. Process of obtaining money from illegal activities or criminal activities and making the initial sources and it traceable. I write that one here. So it's a process of obtaining monies from Legal activities and making the initial sources untraceable. So that is the money laundering. The examiner can ask you to give the faces or the stages. Stroke phases of money laundering. So, what are these uh, stages or the phases of money laundering? Number one, we have the placement, placement uh, phase or stage. So, what is this placement phase or stage? This is where the monies are deposited in a legitimate financial institution. I've said this is where, after the money has been obtained from the illegal activities, it is deposited in a legitimate financial institution, e.g. banks. So that is the placement stage or phase. So, it's where money is deposited in a legit, so legit mates, financial institution, e.g. We can put it in the banks. Number two, we have layering phase or stage. Now, I want again to explain where layering stage or phase. Layering phase is where money is uh, transferred to and from different financial institutions so as to make the initial source untraceable. I've said this is where the money is moved or transferred from and to different or various financial institutions in order to make the initial source untraceable. So I just write where money 
is um, transferred or moved from let me have moved to and fro different financial institutions uh -huh, in order in order to make the initial source untraceable. So that is the stage number two. I go to number three, which is now the integration. The integration uh, phase or stage. Now, the money cannot be traced. It comes from which source? So, integration now, this money, because it has been cleaned, it cannot be known. It is from maybe drug trafficking, because that is an example of money laundering activity. Then you can invest the money in a legit business or an legitimate business. So, uh, integration phase is where the money is uh, legitimated by depositing it into a legit business. So, this is where... Uh -huh. The money is deposited in a legit business. In a legitimate uh, business. So now the money has been cleaned. And that's why in lame man's language, it is cleaning of money which comes from criminal activities. So that's why people will talk of wash wash. That is the money laundering. Now, I can have some examples of money laundering activities here. Examples of money laundering activities. One is drug trafficking. We also have human trafficking. We can have like uh, fraud, stock embezzlement of cash, embezzlement of cash. We can also have hostages. Okay, sale of firearms, it is, it is. so these are examples of the money laundering activity. So what are the auditors, the auditors responsibility for money laundering? So let me have auditors responsibility. For money laundering. Auditors responsibility for money laundering. So what should the auditor do in case of money laundering? Uh, or you suspect there's money laundering activities. Number one, determine whether money laundering has taken place. Again, it's important to know who are behind the money laundering. So, identifying parties involved. In the money laundering. Again, reporting to the relevant authority reporting to the relevant authority can also determine b 
the materiality of money laundering transactions. So it's I just wind up on the concept. Another thing auditors should do is uh, uh, determining the effect of money laundering of money laundering activity on the audit report. Also, it's important for the auditor to determine the effect of the money laundering on the financial statements or true and fairness of the financial statements. Uh, determining the effect of money laundering on the truth and fairness of the financial statement. So that is money laundering and the indicators of money laundering. I want to give some indicators. One, unusual money inflow. Number two, can uh, talk of uh, unusual increase in net worth, I'm a rise in net worth initial rise in net worth we have that is money inflows can also talk of an initial origin of the funds an initial origin of funds etc Also, you can have unusual services. That's an indicator, unusual services. Again, uh, someone earning very low income, then living very expensive or luxurious life. So those are examples of money laundering activities. So if you are told to give the actions of the auditor for money laundering, these are the actions and at the same time, they are the responsibilities of the auditor for money. Laundering. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe. If you are my friend, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel CPA to Thank you.